Okay, I'm going to do a little walkthrough here on how this uh, code works for creating uh, essentially uh, a quiz that asks a question and then, and then checks the answer against uh, a list of answers and can tell you the correct answer or other feedback. So the way that would work is I'm going to hit the start here and then I'm going to hit the space bar. The House and Senate are called Congress. Yes. And I'll hit the space bar again. Longest lived vertebrates at 400 years. Uh, snails. Oops. Greenland shark. Silly me. Okay. So it just I ha just have some silly, um, silly uh, questions and answers in there. To see the questions and answers, you would go to variables. And then here I've made up um, these lists. And if you check them here, then you can actually see them and edit them. So I'm going to uncheck them, and I'm going to stop um, stop the program. Let's just kind of roll through how this is working. Um, what it first does is it clears out. Essentially, there's two uh, lists of the questions and two lists of the answers. And the start empty questions and answers are the ones that actually get used in the game, whereas the, uh, the backup uh, questions and answers never get deleted, never get, um, they're, they're there to sort of resupply um, at the start here. So initially when the program starts, we delete all of the start empty questions and answers, so we have a, a kind of a clean slate. Then these two sets of blocks populate the start empty questions and answers with the contents of the backup questions and answers. Um, and so now we're ready to start. This forever loop has a if space key pressed. So that's what triggers a question to be asked. And so this would work well with hooking up to a makey makey board for a touch interactive game. Um, you, would, you would just duplicate this whole if loop and put a new one down here within the forever. And then instead of space key pressed, you could do up arrow, down arrow, um, et cetera, for the makey makey. So, the net, so if a space key is pressed, then essentially we pick a random uh, question and we ask that question on the screen. Uh, and then the person can type in an answer and this if else uh, loop here says, okay, was whatever was typed in, does that match the list of answers? If it does, then we say yes, and we, you know, if it's a game, right, we could have other additional um, things to say there, like move ahead five spaces, or you're rewarded with, you know, this uh, good um, aspect of the game, this reward. If a different answer is typed in, we could say oops, and we could say the correct answer here, um, and, or we could even, also say like move backwards five steps, you know, or some, some kind of penalty within a game. Um, and then both that question and answer are then deleted from the list. Uh, so they don't, wouldn't get repeated, you know, asked more than the one time. If we put these two delete blocks here in the, or actually be up here in the um, say yes section, then the the, the question and answer would only be deleted if the question is um, answered correctly. So that would mean that you could ha see the same question and answer that was previously asked and incorrectly answered, you could see it again. So there's a quick look at one way, and I, there are other ways to do this. There's uh, probably better ways to do this, but this is one way to make a makey-makey or, or similar uh, touch interactive um, quiz game.